What's up guys, welcome back to Dieter Plays. I'm gonna show you how to get the Riptide helmet and suit here. So the game is Shark Bite. So it's gonna take a little bit of time for you to get this. So first part that you have to do, you have to be the shark. So I recommend if you can, Get in a VIP server, get in a server which is you and one other person because uh, otherwise it's going to take a little bit of time for you to actually get the opportunity to be the shark because for this first part you have to be the shark. Uh, also there's the day and night cycle. That's a little inconvenient. That makes it a little bit more challenging to see certain things but uh, first off hopefully you will get chosen as the, as the shark. Um, other people are going to get started uh, when you're the shark, it's just going to do a little countdown. You're going to get in here. Uh, first thing you're going to have to do is there's these little buoys around the map. You have to find all four of them, and then after you hit all four of them, you get something called a supercharge, basically. Uh, so here I am. I am the, uh, the shark right now. So you can see off in the distance these little buoys in the corner. I recommend just kind of hit a buoy and then turn right or turn left and you will see there's basically four of them and that they're basically in four corners of the map so the map itself is made up of the middle area which is the lobby and it's got a lighthouse and so uh around the lighthouse there is three little islands in three of the corners and then one of the corners does not have an island so uh basically what i recommend just go out there hit the first one turn right uh, keep going straight hit the second one uh, if you can keep your head above water like I've got it right now It makes it a lot easier. So here we go We're gonna hit the third one right now and then uh, of course guys This is gonna be a lot easier if you've got the daytime because there's the day and night cycle and at nighttime It's really really difficult to see what you're doing and then at the end guys There's gonna be a big boss and the boss is gonna be a little bit of a challenge here, too So as you can see it's turned nighttime, but we hit the last one, so we've got the super boost. Now, if we go to the middle, where the little lighthouse is in the middle, uh, over here, there's going to be around the lighthouse, under the water, there's going to be a little spot that has uh, green cracks in it, basically. Now, don't be confused with the spot where the uh, where the shark comes out initially. There's like a little bit of treasure out there, and that right here, as you can see, that looks kind of red and yellow. Now, that's not what you're going for. That is not the right thing. You're looking for green. So uh, come out and then go back in towards it. See this green? It's just right around the corner from that other stuff. Now, use the super boost and hit into that spot. And then you're going to find right here, it says it's Leonard. It looks to me like uh, Little Nemo. But I guess Leonard, you know, sort of changes his look here and there uh, throughout this whole process. But anyways, he says that he lays clean bubbles. He has some trash that is at the bottom of the ocean that he needs some of your help dealing with. Uh, he says if, as long as you can clear that trash out for him, it's all good. He's going to help you out. He's going to, you know, give you whatever you need or a gem to get to the next part, which is what's going to happen. Uh, so basically, this is the first step. Uh, you have to get those buoys, get the super boost, hit him. Uh, now here, the next part is in the lobby. So here in the lobby, there is a very specific poster over here in the corner. And it says right here to the right. There we go. It's a uh, shark it's some it's some fan art right there so this one right here specifically and then you have to type in the chat you're gonna need a bigger boat which is something that actually ernest klein said in the interview with david bazooki but it's also a reference to jaws where it says we're gonna need a bigger boat so you go there and these are the super buoys basically that you have to pick up to get the titanic out of the ocean so now you have to come back in here you don't want to be the shark you want to be like a regular person so Hopefully the shark is not being like mean to you. But over here, this little island here with the two uh, with the two trees. If you go over here to the island, basically right under there is where you're going to find the uh, the Titanic. So there's a shipwrecked Titanic there under the water. Now another thing that's going to help you to make this a little bit easier for you to see further distance is uh, I recommend go to your settings here and you can actually turn the graphics quality down. So if you turn the graphics quality down, it actually gives you the ability to see a little bit further ahead of you. So as you can see right here, like I can see a little bit further out or at least sort of see silhouettes of the images of what I'm trying to see. Now this is gonna take you a little bit of time because guys, it's like, as you can see right here, we finally found this, 
the uh, the Titanic, but it might take you a little bit of time, a couple of tries, try not to get too frustrated. Uh, but once I found it now, I've uh, upped the graphics, so we're gonna go back over there. Uh, so it's right there, right ahead of me. But now that I've got the buoys, I can actually get this thing lifted up out of the water and I suppose take it to outer space. So there's uh, one buoy right here. We're gonna attach that. One over here, we're gonna press E and we're going to attach that. Now in the back of the ship, there's also a couple of little hooks and those little hooks is where we're going to attach the other little buoys, which are going to help this thing go a little bit further up into the air. So uh, let's see up here on the other side, see these little hooks right here on the side. You see that hook? So go up to that and that's where you want to attach one of the buoys. So we've got that one attached now. There's one right on the other side. It's basically symmetrical. Go over on the other side and attach it to this hook right here. Now you're gonna see a little cut scene here. So basically these buoys are magic buoys. They've got the, the power to pull the Titanic, I guess fully, like 100% up in the air. So uh, there we go. And you also get like the amazing music as a part of this whole cutscene. Uh, and hopefully you guys do it on time. If you guys only put like two of the buoys and the time runs out, you're going to have to go back out there and put the other two buoys down. Fortunately, most of this stuff saves. If you hit like, uh, if you get Nemo, you don't have to come back in the game and start from the very beginning. You can load into another server and you can come back and you'll be okay. So uh, now that we have done that, we're going to go and we're going to talk to Nemo again, or actually Leonard, I guess is his name. Uh, but it says, here you go, you did it. Here's a gift for your trouble. It has magical properties, but it needs an energy source. So we have the diamond right here. Now the energy source for this thing is the sun. Uh, so I tried doing this whole next part in a VIP server and it did not work for me. If it was just me, myself and I by my lonesome in a VIP server. I could come out here and I could look at the sun to my heart's content and it did not work. So I recommend for this part, make sure you go into a public server and then come out here to the top in the lobby. Uh, make sure you're spectating, otherwise it's gonna just put you into the game. Uh, find this little telescope right here. Shark has been released, but it doesn't matter. You are in a server with more than three people, so you are spectating, so it's no big deal. Uh, so right here, you want to press the E button basically in order to do that. So I recommend just scroll all the way to the right uh, you're gonna see basically the building that you're standing right next to there we go there's the balcony there's the balcony all right there's the part of the lighthouse that you're standing next to so just up from there so you're gonna get to that point you're gonna go up and then the Sun is just up there and to the left just a little bit so you want to make sure that you uh, basically focus on the Sun because that is the that's the energy source for this thing so there we go we found the Sun go left go left we want to focus on it so now you can see the whole thing turns yellow and then you just basically exit out of it and you're gonna see this little pathway appear before you so this little pathway right here is going to take you to a boss battle now this boss battle is a little tricky you're gonna show up right here and there's going to be this little guy who is Leonard apparently the fish has gotten himself into a mechanical body to where uh, he's he's brought oh yeah he's actually he's in the oasis so you got you've entered the oasis with Leonard and he's much more powerful here in the oasis and you're gonna have to battle him here and uh, it's a little bit of a tricky boss battle here guys so uh, what he does it really comes down to you just piloting the boat mostly like he comes out with this big red thing that spins around and that red thing if you get hit once basically it's over like right there boom you know you cannot pilot the boat anymore you are dead you are toast you might as well reset uh so there's there's this is a really tricky boss battle guys it's gonna take a little bit of time uh so what i recommend is like in the very beginning you got to make sure that you spin around in the boat really fast don't get hit by these red things uh you're basically gonna have to learn how to navigate and pilot this boat really really well in order to pass this uh so the first part what he does is he goes through this he spins this thing around uh, he goes through a second part when he spins this thing around and it's just a little bit faster than it is this time. So basically he has three main moves. He spins that red thing around. He also likes to drop these rocks on you. So get to know reverse and forward. But what you need to do, see how he shoots these rockets? You need to get really close to him. Like make sure you drive the boat 
close to him, like sideways, like this way, so that those rockets hit him. Uh, if they keep spinning around and they don't hit him, you're not going to get any damage against him. It's not going to do anything. Eventually, they will just go in the water and hit you, and you just got to repeat that part that you did again. So uh, it's, it's going to take a lot of attempts for you guys. So uh, go around when he's got the red thing. He's also got red laser eyes that you just have to use the boat to go around and not get hit by him. And then he also has the sequence where he drops these big rocks on you. Try not to be in the shadow of the rocks when he drops those down on you so as you see right here he's shot these missiles out one more time i'm gonna drive right next to him so at this point see when i drive right next to him that makes the missiles hit him and that makes his life go down but see this part right here he drops the rocks and he drops the rocks on you really hard so uh guys gotta go through this couple of sequences beat him and then it will teleport you to a place where you can actually get the free items there so if you guys are new here i would love to have you subscribe and hit that notification bell and thank you so much for watching we'll talk to you guys later